Welcome to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the show that brings you man-on-the-street interviews, celebrity guests, groundbreaking research, and heartwarming stories about the reasons we smile. Our show is also known as everything you've always wanted to know about dentistry, but we're too numb to ask. Hello, I'm General Dentist Dr. Kavitko, and thank you for joining me today. The following views and opinions do not necessarily reflect those of this station, its staff, management, or parent company. To hear a replay of this show or one of the great shows that previously aired, log on to TheReasonsWeSmile.com or iTunes, keyword Dr. Kavitko or The Reasons We Smile. Listeners should not use Dr. Kavitko's comments and advice in place of an actual dental exam. Brighten your life with a smile that shows the professional touch of Dr. Kavitko. Time now for The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Call 459-9769 to discuss your dental issues. Now, here's your host, Dr. Kavitko. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Reasons We Smile. I'm Dr. Kavitko. This is episode number 534. I appreciate you tuning in, and um, if you're a new listener, well, uh, sit tight, because hopefully you'll enjoy the show. We have with us in the studio, Carrie Vernon. She's the Executive Director of Family Mentor Foundation. She's in the studio with us. She's also the founder of that, and we're going to uh, welcome her in just a minute. Before we get started, let me remind you, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, it's at Dr. Kvitko. And if you would please go to my office Facebook page and like us, that would be awesome. The... Um, Oh, you know what else I was going to mention is I am looking for a dentist. So if you ha are a dentist with at least three years' experience and you'd like to consider becoming an associate, please give me a call, 614-262-9588, or you can send me an email to bkvitko at aol.com. All right, so like I said, in the studio with us is Carrie Vernon, and um, you know I'm a dentist, and her dad is a dentist, right, Carrie? Yeah. <laughs> so there's a nice little connection there. I come by it honestly. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll have to ask you later about what it's like uh, growing up uh, the, the child of a dentist. Anyway, um, so tell me about the Family Mentor Foundation because, first of all, I should explain a little bit about you. You have a master's degree in education. You have over 10 years of middle school teaching experience, and you've always been an advocate for children, and you've helped organize and lead various after-school programs for students, and you currently reside in Worthington with your husband and three children, but you're not teaching anymore. Tell me about that. Yeah, so um, probably about four and a half years ago after teaching, um, I made the decision to quit my teaching job and start Family Mentor Foundation. And what I found over those 10 years of teaching is, is that kids will come into a classroom and they'll intuitively try to get their needs met that aren't being met elsewhere. Okay. And over that time, I saw that when kids come into the classroom um, and they have these needs and they start to communicate them in the classroom, they fell into four different categories, or I used, started to c categorize them into four different areas. And so those are physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. And if any one of those areas is out of whack or out of balance for a child, it will prevent them from reaching their fullest potential. The two common ones that I would see um, on a day-to-day -day basis was the physical unmet needs and the um, emotional unmet needs. And I predominantly taught in Title I schools. Those are the schools that qualify, you know, 90% qualify for free and reduced lunch. And so um, it when, was... When you say emotional, do you mean uh, a single, a single parent family kind of a thing? There's something missing? Not necessarily. No? That the demographics, when I say emotional unmet needs, I mean that the child is not getting the emotional support or they are directly um, experiencing emotional abuse. Oh? Yeah. Okay. I'm yeah. sorry, I interrupted you. Go, no. I interrupted you. Go ahead. Okay, so you have the four. Yeah, we have the four categories, and that was what I was seeing in the classroom. And as a teacher, it was kind of, for me, like that whack-a-mole game that you'll find at a carnival, right? So I'm good at whack-a-mole, by the way. Oh, are you? I really am. Okay, I was never good at that, <laughs> so that's probably why I quit my job teaching. <laughs> Um, but I would do my best, you know, as many teachers do, and um, many teachers fall, they start using their own resources, time, money, um, to start helping kids, and that was certainly the situation that I found myself in. And so, um, it was actually one, one student, it was kind of the um, breaking, the straw that broke, um, I guess I'm using two different metaphors here, but anyways, it was the one that had the biggest impact on me, where I you know, said I wanted to do something more. So I left my job teaching and I started Family Mentor Foundation. Okay, what was that young man's name? Uh, you, just first name only, of course. 
It was actually a, a it was oh, a girl. Girl. What yeah. was her name? Um, her name was Erica. Erica. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Erica, you related to me the story where she was a very good student, mm -hmm. and on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but on Monday. Things were different. Okay, well, I thought you were talking about the child that um, I decided to leave my job. Oh, tell so me about that one. I'm telling well, about that a was, different one. That was an emotional unmet need. And, okay. But you were correct. It was a boy that came in, um, and he was the one who was courageous enough eventually to tell us his situation <clears throat> about having um, physical unmet needs. And so this is the boy who comes in on Monday, and when he comes into the classroom, the first thing that he does is put his head down on the desk, and then later throughout the day, you... You mean go to sleep? Oh, take too, a nap. Too tired. To oh, work. okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, or, you know, most people, if they didn't know what was going on in, you know, his personal life, would just assume that he's not a good kid. Right. He doesn't know how to follow the rules in the classroom. There must be something wrong with him. Um, so this is the child who, um, like I said, was courageous enough to eventually share what was going on with him. And this particular child... Um, was not only fending for himself on the weekend to find food, but um, he was fending for his younger brother. And so that's what was the, pr the problem is he was looking for food mm -hmm. and it just, he just, just wore him out. Well, yeah. Um, and I don't know about you. I tend to get angry when I'm um, hungry. But <laughs> angry? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that runs in my family. Yeah. Not my side, though. <laughs> yeah. But some people, you know, they, they, over time they do, they get, they, they get tired. And so... Um, you know, those two kind of go hand in hand. But, um, yeah, so on some of the worst weekends for this child and his brother, he was actually digging out of neighbor's trash cans to find food. Really? Yes. And and uh, you could, how long did it take you to get him to tell you that story? Oh, it was well into the school year because, I mean, with the kind of um, population of kids that I had predominantly taught, you have to build trust with kids first, and, and that takes a long time. Okay. So what was his name, first name? Um, Matt. Matt. Okay, so Matt was the reason that you understood this need, this mm -hmm. physical need of food, mm -hmm. and Erica was an emotional need. Mm -hmm. Together, they caused you to um, quit school teaching, and it was a combination of all of them over okay. the course of the year. It w but it was Erica's story at the very end that um, was enough where I felt like I wanted to do something different. And what is it that you do? Because the family family mentor foundation is a little confusing to people. Uh, what ex I know it's you have great plans and it's going to be very clear as time goes by. But at the moment, uh, the name doesn't really tell people what you do. So you tell people what do you do now to help these kids. So in the last four and a half years, we started our buddy bag program to address food insecurity here locally in Central Ohio. Um, we currently are um, providing our buddy bags, and what a buddy bag is, is it is a bag that goes home with a child on Fridays. And um, in it contains two breakfasts, two lunches, and two snacks for the child over the weekend. So we are currently, as I mentioned, partnered with schools. Um, and at each of those schools, uh, we are feeding kids every Friday that they get to take home. And, and you're right. Um, a lot of people will confuse us um, as being a food pantry, and we're not a food pantry. Um, most food p pantries um, are geared to feeding the families. And Family Mentor Foundation is geared to feeding the individual child. Um, we are looking to fill in the gaps that a child maybe not is not getting. Um, and that way, they're consistently getting food every weekend. So when they come back to school on Monday, there isn't that delayed response to learning. They can um, just pick up right where they left off on Friday versus having to go see the nurse or, like I said, laying your head down on the desk. And okay. Caught up. Actually, I thought... Family Mentor Foundation would be like a family counseling or something. I didn't think it was a food pantry. Okay. Well, <laughs> we've had a lot of people who assume that we're a food pantry, but the, the, the idea with Family Mentor Foundation is, is as we start to branch off, and we're currently in um, the development stage of coming up with um, a program to address our emotional unmet needs, and um, our whole goal is, is that we want to be a mentor into mentor toward um, the people that we're serving. And so we really want to provide the tools and the resources for a period of time that will enable um, the kids that we're serving to be able to um, rely on us for a short period of time and then be able to um, take their tools and the skills and the resources that they have gotten from us 
and then be autonomous and not dependent upon us. Okay, so let's talk about some of the statistics. 49.5% of children in Franklin County mm -hmm. qualify for the free lunch program, right? That's a lot. Mm -hmm. I was going to say almost half, but that wouldn't do it justice because almost half to some people means 35%. This is just a tick below mm -hmm. 50, 50 percent of the kids. Um, you have an unfortunate statistic to share, which is 1,200 kids are on the waiting list. Correct, yes. That's something you're working hard to change, right? Yeah, so what that means, where our waiting list comes from, is, is we are currently feeding eight schools um, directly. And um, of those schools that we're currently partnered with, we haven't satisfied the need completely at those schools. So that's where our waiting list is coming from. It doesn't even include oh, really? any schools that have... It's just on the ones you're already serving? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Okay. So one of the reasons I asked you to be on the show is so we can get the word out. Yep. Hopefully we can generate some donations mm -hmm. or some more volunteer help, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Uh, also, food insecurity has been associated with development, health, and behavioral concerns that may hinder performance in school and have long-term consequences. So mm -hmm. as a teacher, you know that. Yes. And you know that if you can send them home with a, f a bag that has food to help feed them for Saturday and Sunday, mm -hmm. that they'll come back Monday ready to learn and they won't have... Uh, Missed anything. Correct. Right? Yep. Okay. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool what you do. And I, I know that um, it sounds like a big, important foundation. It's probably funded by the uh, Health and Human Services Department or something, but it's not. No. And we're going to talk a little more about that when we come back. Uh, I forgot to mention that we always do a Dr. Kavikos question of the day, and I usually tell people that so you can be prepared to uh, maybe pre program the phone number into your phone because we're going to give away free flowers from DeSantis Florist in a minute. Let me go ahead and give you that number now. It's not quite time to call. It will be soon. 614-459-9769. 614-459-9769. Just go ahead and pre-program that now because in a couple of minutes we will get to it. Okay, so we want to delve into the funding aspect. And Oh, let me just tell you, now, why, why is it not covered? Why isn't this covered by an agency, a federal agency? Any ideas? I don't have any answers to that. Um, well, wait a minute. That's why you're here, to answer my questions. No, well, I'm just kidding. I'm answering <laughs> them, but I, I'm hoping you have an answer to that. Um, do they know of the need? Do you know, does the legislature know of they're, this Saturday, Sunday? They're very well. Oh, um, they're aware of the need, and it, it's a large need, as you just okay. mentioned. So, so there's just no money, they say? Um, I would say that there is a lot of money being used in um, this area, but the need is greater than... Greater than there, okay. The so the, the free lunch program, they probably feel like is good enough, and so we can't deal with the weekends if you're the federal government, I guess, is what they're thinking or saying, or... I can't speak for the federal <laughs> government, so I just know that there's, um, there's a need there, and there's a lot of great organizations that are being supported, both directly and indirectly, from various um, entities through in our community that... Uh, are helping to address the needs. So. Okay, well that's good. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are going to do Dr. Kavitko's question of the day, uh, but before we do, we'd like you to listen to this. This station will not be held liable for any contesting during The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Participation in the contest allows Dr. Kavitko to record and broadcast your name and call. One winner per household, prizes are non-transferable, cannot be substituted, and are subject to taxes and fees. This station cannot be responsible for the inability to enter the contest, whether due to equipment malfunction or telephone difficulties. All decisions of Dr. Kavitko concerning this contest or eligibility are final. And now it's time for Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. All right, and the question of the day is, which of the following describes the need the Family Mentor Foundation is trying to fill? A, that 49.5% of children in Franklin County qualify for a free lunch. B, that the Family Mentor Foundation has over 1,200 kids on its waiting list. C, that food insecurity has been associated with development, health, and behavioral concerns that may hinder performance in school and have long-term consequences. Or D, all of the above. All right, the winner's going to receive free flowers from DeSantis Florist. They'll be delivered to your place of business this Tuesday afternoon. The number to call is 614-459-9769. That's 614-459-9769. So go ahead and call now. You won't believe it, though. I want to hear your mind. Nothing else in the world tonight. She said, People don't take the time. Hey, people don't 
take the time. Hi, I'm Keith Carlos, winner of America's Next Top Model and star of Chocolate City 2. Look for my smile on the big screen this summer, courtesy of Dr. Gavitko. Stay tuned to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the world's most interesting dentist. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of The Reasons We Smile radio and road show. Did you know that you no longer need to visit several different dental professionals to get more complete dental care? We handle everything from cleanings and orthodontics to restoration, implants, and smile makeovers, all in my office. And now we have two locations. Get the most advanced technology and procedures available today. It's more complete dentistry. Visit World's Most Interesting Dentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. Dr. Kavitko! Let's go! Hi, this is Richard Simmons. Dr. Kavitko's here, and he's going to help you with all of your problems. Uh, are your teeth yellow? He can fix that. Are you missing a tooth? He can put a new one in. How is that? <laughs> That's very good. Thank you, Richard. All right, we're back. We're doing Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. I'm going to ask Carrie to pick a number between one and four. Oh, say that again? Two. Okay, she's picking number two. Let's go to line two. That would be Sarah. Hey, Sarah, how Hi. are you? Hi. Good, how are you? I'm good. Thank you for listening. Thank you for calling in. What is the answer to Dr. Kavitko's question of the day? D, all of the above. And hi, Carrie. <laughs> Do you know what? her? You're just no, I don't, hi. but I was just wanting to say hi. Okay, good for you. That's a friendly person. We love it. So, yes, it was D, all of the above. So, uh, stay on the line. We're going to get the information where to send you those flowers from DeSantis, okay? Thank you. You have a great day, Sarah. Yep. Okay. All right. So, let's go back to, uh, if you're just joining us, I am with Carrie Vernon. She is the Executive Director of Family Mentor Foundation. Carrie, did you found it also? I did. Okay. I started it. Okay. So, then you elected yourself Executive Director, <laughs> Chief Cook and Bottle Washer, right? Some days I wonder what exactly is the best title, but um, yep, for now, that suffices. <laughs> no, that's fine. So, this is really awesome that you did this and are doing this. And so, we're talking about funding and how there really is nothing from the federal, state, or local governments. So, therefore, uh, you need to raise a lot of money. Now, there are grants from. You do have some grants? Yeah. No, okay, but tell there me are about grants those. Grants from the government, too. Okay. So, um, but. You know, we're a smaller nonprofit, a newer nonprofit, and um, pretty much a lot of our funding has come through um, grassroots measures. So okay. We've hosted a lot of um, GoFundMe's um, on our own website, and that's how we've done a lot of our, our fundraising up to this point. We have partners, um, corporate partners, who are um, supporting the mission and the need here in our area, but a lot of it has just been through the generosity of... Um, individuals in our community. Okay, I'm holding up to the camera a thing that says how to donate. Tell me about this. People can text. They can. So there's many different ways that they can donate. They can text the word give to the number shown there on the card. Which is 614-412-2242, correct? Correct. Okay. And then um, you can go to our website, familymentorfoundation.org, and on there there's a donate um, page, which... Um, very simple. You can do a one-time donation or you can do a monthly reoccurring donation. Um, it, it costs $20 to feed a kid for a month. Okay. That's, so you can, if you donate $20 a month, you're taking care of one child? To be fed on the weekend for an entire month, it's $160 to feed one child for the entire school year. Okay. And that's pretty good. That's a good deal. Yeah. And tell me what's in these boxes, because uh, I've seen it, and I think we have pictures scrolling, but, I mean, it's nutritious food. There's, like, a little cup of uh, green beans. Everything's prepackaged so that it doesn't spoil, right? It's all shelf-stable at yeah. this point in time, yes. Um, but it's very niche items that are in there, and the reason is is because we um, wanted to make sure that even if it was a child as young as kindergarten that was getting one of our bags, um, that they would be able to feed themselves if necessary on the weekend. So the things that go into our um, bags are individual sizes, and um, you th there's two breakfasts, and you generally that's two oatmeal packets. We have two microwavable meals in there, and that can be anything from like a macaroni and cheese cup or mm -hmm. sleeve to a Chef Boyardee um, pasta thing. Um, and they get two granola bars in there, um, and they get two fruit cups, and as you mentioned, the vegetable cup. 
and once a month a jar of peanut butter goes home with each child. Okay, so, that's yeah. really neat. And and so there are there are instances we talked about this off the air where the child actually has to hide the food from mom or dad because I have heard that there are some some of the kids that we feed that um as I mentioned earlier, we are focused on feeding the individual child and um the need is probably greater at home and right. so it becomes territorial for okay. the child to, mm -hmm. to take their food and, and hide it to make sure that, that nobody in the um, nobody else. And then the other part of that is keeping the food or giving the food to the children discreetly so that they're not singled out amongst their friends as somebody who's getting this food donation. Absolutely. We don't even know the names of the kids that we feed at the schools that we're partnered with. All that information is kept confidential at the schools. And an anonymity is one of our... Um, our biggest uh, concerns. So we want to make sure that um, privacy is protected, and um, there can be a, just a lot of shame. Right, and so this issue. So somehow the schools that. hand this out in a way that the kids that aren't getting it don't really know. Very so those kids reason. aren't singled out for being teased or something. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So the bag. So um, you know, each school gets to do it differently. Um, they're the experts at their campus, and so. Um, they decide. We work very closely with the teachers and the principals at the school, and um, we provide the resources, but they actually are the ones to implement the program at their school. Um, and they're also the ones to choose which kids, um, because of our waiting list, who are the neediest and get to be um, served first. Um, but then, generally, there's one point of contact at each school, and um, from what I've heard, that how it works pretty much is is that the kid will come down to the same location um, every Friday and bring their backpack down there and, and then the... Somebody puts the food in, kind of says, or there Or maybe go. if like the kids are at um, an extracurricular like um, music or gym or something like that, the bags are brought to the classroom and put into their book bags while nobody's there. While nobody's there. Yeah. Okay, that's really, that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. neat. So if you want to give, text yeah. the word give, to 614-412-2242. Yeah. That's 614-412-2242. Yep. And then all you have to do is say how much you want to give. You verify that amount and you enter yes or no. Uh, would, you, would you like this gift to be reoccurring? You enter yes or no. Is this your first time using the text to give service? And if that is the case, you'd be prompted to enter your registration and payment information. That means you have to create an account. So they do have to have a credit card, I guess. Correct. Or it can even be a debit card. Yes. You don't, it doesn't matter, right? Correct. All right, and then another way. So five dollars mm -hmm. provides breakfast and lunch for a weekend. Twenty dollars provides weekend food for a month. Mm -hmm. One hundred and sixty dollars provides weekend food for the entire school year. Correct. Okay. So let's get a lot of one hundred and sixty dollar mm -hmm. donations, right? That would be amazing. <laughs> yes, we're let's trying to reduce that waiting list. Okay. Yeah, that that would be awesome. Okay. So it looks like we're time to go to a break. When we come back, we're going to talk more with Carrie Vernon of the Family Mentor Foundation. This is Clark Kellogg. Stay tuned for more of Dr. Kavitko. Estás escuchando con Dr. Kavitko aquí en su sesión favorita. Hi, I'm Dominique Weigert. Like what you hear? Why not use the show to promote your product or service by becoming a sponsor? Call 614-262-9588 to learn how. That's 614-262-9588. Call now. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of the Reasons We Smile Radio and Roadshow. I've been honored to help several famous people get a perfect smile, like Keith Carlos and Dominique Rygaard from America's Next Top Model and Ted the Golden Voice Williams from right here in Columbus. Isn't it time you had a celebrity smile? It costs less than you might think, and most of the time, it can be done in one visit. A new smile can make a world of difference. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. I'm Grandpa, and I go to Dr. Kavitko, and I still have all my teeth. Real ones. Where's my glasses? <laughs> back. 
I'm Dr. Kvitko. This is The Reasons We Smile, episode number 534. With me in the studio is Carrie Vernon, the executive director and founder of Family Mentor Foundation. It's a really cool program that feeds kids who are in need, who over the weekend would not, not only not have, to fi not have enough food for themselves, but might have to be tasked with finding food for their siblings, too. And so, you're, uh, and, and so this is a really, I think, a wonderful thing that you're doing. And uh, I'm proud to say that your dad is a dentist, so it's all in the family. And <laughs> there's your dental connection, if you were wondering about it. Yeah. Excuse me. <coughs> so I was thinking over the break, there are some people that don't use a computer. Mm -hmm. My mother-in-law would be one of them. <laughs> I might have to have my producer take over. <coughs> Must have swallowed a bug. <coughs> um, how can somebody mail a check? So we are located at um, 7433 Oak Meadows Drive, um, Columbus, Ohio, 43085. Um, so feel free to drop that in the mail and get it over to us. Okay, give that again. 7433 Oak Meadows, all one word, O-A. It's too early in the morning. Yeah, O-A-K-M-E-A-D-O-W-S -E um, Drive, and that is Columbus, Ohio, 43085. Okay, so if you don't want to do the... The texting thing, that's a way you can mail a check. And then if you're a, a service organization or a church group or something, how can you volunteer? So we have what we call our gather and give opportunities, and this is actually where we partner with um, not only churches but also businesses in the area. Um, and we also host our community gather and gives. And this is where people come in and they um, will actually help us break down all of the food and pack it and assemble it into the boxes to get ready for delivery to the schools. So um, if you're a church or you're a business and you're looking for a volunteer opportunity for your congregation or your associates, um, reach out to us and we actually will bring the entire packing event to your place. Oh, um, wow. For How many square feet do you need? Um, not a whole lot. Um, we generally will just use your typical um, six to eight foot folding tables. Um, we'll use about three or four of those and okay. um, create an assembly line. So we've done it, and we've also done it more as a team building and um, round tables. So we can make it work. Um, generally, when we do that, um, we pack five or 500 or 1,000 bags at one time. Um, wow. But we also um, offer that packing event at our place of... Um, business and so you can sign up online to come to that one to okay that so one. how would somebody reach you is there an email address you want them to use and a phone number um well info at family mentor foundation dot org um and the telephone number is 614-547-7737 614-547-7737 yes good. okay <laughs> just want to make sure yep because uh, we really want to get the word out we really want to help you as much as we can I think uh, later on today, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, text to donate. I'm not registered, but I guess I'll figure out how easy that is. Great. And um, Yeah, you know, and the other thing that I wanted to say really quickly is is because we talked about, you know, some of the unfortunate situations, such as a child having to protect the food when they get home. But um, this is the message that I really like to convey to people, and that is, um, you know, when I first started delivering these bags, I, I thought, oh, my gosh, there's so much more of a need with some of these kids than just the, the food. And so um, I would go home at night and be very sad, and I had to really come to terms with, um, you know, are we doing enough? Is there more that we can be doing? And, and what I like to share with people is, is, is that these bags are more than just the contents of food inside them. They're really just messages of hope to these kids. And when we drop off these bags to these kids, um, we're saying to them that the world really is a good place and that there are people who care about them and their situation. So, um, But yeah. they're special, kind of like an extension of Mr. Rogers, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. It, no, it's, it, it, it's more than just the food in there. So um, it's, it's an awesome way to make a difference in a child's life and to spread a message of hope. Yes, and I commend you for that. It's awesome. I don't know why I don't think of things like this. I must just be a slug. Uh, <laughs> Because there's so many wonderful people out in the world doing great things, and you don't hear about it as much as we'd like. And um, so keep up the good work. Thank you. I really appreciate it. One more time with the contact information so that it's fresh in people's mind. The address? Yes. Well, uh, all of it. Phone number? Okay. Phone number 614-547-7737. Yes. You can email us at info at org. Our website is org. Yes. And then if you want a text to give, 614-412-2242. That's 
42. Carrie, that's all the time we have. I really appreciate you getting up and being on the show with Thanks me. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're very welcome. So don't forget to follow me on Twitter. And, uh, you know, go to my office Facebook page and like us. And remember that all past episodes, complete with video, are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com. Be sure to tune in next week and every week right here on your favorite station. Goodbye. This is Carly Red from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, the hit show on VH1, urging you to tune in next week with my dentist, Dr. Kavitko. If you're interested in learning more about this and other dental health topics, go to TheReasonsWeSmile.com to access full episodes of Dr. Kavitko's show. If you'd like Dr. Kavitko, the world's most interesting dentist, to speak at your next event, please call 614-262-9588. That's 614-262-9588. Or send an email to speaking at the